Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first, let me begin by thanking uh, Frank Jacecki and Ronnie Hakem and the uh, whole team at the MTA, as well as all the first responders who have done an extraordinary job uh, since this explosion happened uh, yesterday evening. As everybody knows, there was an explosion on West 23rd Street. Uh, there's significant property damage on both sides of the explosion. 29 people were injured. That there were no fatalities uh, is something to give thanks for today. Uh, because when you see the amount of damage, uh, it, we, we really were very lucky that there were no fatalities at the time. Uh, we just inspected the subway station, the path station in the immediate area to see if there was any damage done from the explosion to the subway station, the tunnels, etc. Uh, and we're happy to report that there was no damage, so the MTA is ready to be up and running uh, as early as tomorrow to return to full service for those stations. Uh, there may be certain uh, entrances and exits that are closed depending on where the investigation is at that time, but we'll, we will keep you up to date uh, on that. There is, uh, I've been uh, briefed by all the relevant agencies. At this time, there is no evidence of an international terrorism uh, connection with this incident. Uh, but but uh, it is very, very early in the investigation, uh, and it's just starting. The FBI has brought uh, the evidence that they've collected uh, from the, the site of the explosion, as well as the uh, bomb that did not detonate, and they brought that to Quantico, and they'll be studying that. There was uh, also an incident in Seaside Park, New Jersey, uh, they're also taking that material to Quantico to uh, review that material also. I spoke with Governor Christie this morning, and we're coordinating uh, resources between New York and New Jersey to see if there's anything we can learn. Uh, the main coordinate, coordinative mechanism is something called the JTTF, the Joint Terrorism Task Force, uh, and that's up and operational. But uh, the bombs that were in Seaside, New Jersey, appear to be different than the ones uh, that were in Manhattan. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, response by the first responders uh, was extraordinary. You know, you drill all the time and you, you run exercises all the time, but it's still different when it happens. Uh, I spoke to uh, Mayor de Blasio. The NYPD did a great job. The FBI has done a great job. Homeland Security, uh, New York State Police, uh, Fire Department, everyone really worked together and is coordinating uh, on the investigation. The, we have no reason to believe at this time that there is any further immediate threat, uh, but just to err on the side of caution we will be deploying uh, close to an additional 1,000 New York State Police and National Guard people to police the bus terminals, airports, and subway stations. Again, just to err on the side of caution. And I want New Yorkers to be confident when they go back to work on Monday uh, that uh, New York is up and running and we're doing everything we need to do and I feel comfortable that this additional deployment uh, will help do that uh, and uh, is, is uh, prudent on this occasion. The bottom line on this is, number one, whoever placed these bombs, we will find and they will be brought to justice, period. You have the finest police agencies in the world when you come to New York and we will find who planted these explosives and they will be punished. Number two, we will not allow these type of people and these type of threats to disrupt our life in New York. That's what they want to do. We're not going to let them do it. This is freedom. This is democracy. And we're not going to allow them to take that from us. So uh, feel safe, 
uh, everything that needs to be done is being done and more. Uh, and we're going to enjoy New York and we're going to go back to work tomorrow just like we do on any Monday morning. The, uh, the evidence that is now being gathered is going to Quantico. I believe the Seaside Park bombs are en route to Quantico. The unexploded device from New York may not yet have made it to Quantico. I'm not sure. They were both similar in design. But let, let's let the FBI do their investigation. Again, this is very early. They're just getting the devices. They're just starting the in investigation. So once we get the investigation, we'll have all the facts, and then we can speak intelligently. Uh, I believe the mayor was saying there was no connection with international terrorism, and that is correct. Uh, no one has taken credit. There have been no nas international groups uh, that have put out any statements that are connecting them with this action. Uh, now, it depends on your definition of terrorism. Uh, a bomb uh, exploding in New York is obviously a an act of terrorism, but it's not linked to international terrorism. In other words, we find no ISIS connection, etc. cetera. Um, but uh, a bomb going off is uh, generically a terrorist act activity. That's how we're going to consider it. Uh, and that's how we will prosecute it also. But the mayor's correct. There was no link at this time, at this preliminary stage, to international terrorism. So, Governor, this could still be a lone wolf after Lindsay Hawkins. Could be, could be, could be, could be, because we just don't know. Uh, we know there's been no international terrorism organization that has taken credit, but we don't know. I've been in the federal government. I've been through a number of these incidents. Uh, you know, you can, you can guess, you can hypothesize, or you can just wait for the facts and uh, go from there. So we know what we know at this point, and I'd be dubious about speculating on what we don't know. Well, look, as, uh, as governor of New York, uh, this is my worst nightmare, right? Uh, my worst nightmare is the phone rings late at night and there's some terrorist attack, emergency, flood, hurricane, act uh, of uh, Mother Nature that puts lives in peril. Uh, so this is the nightmare scenario, or one of the nightmare scenarios. Um, and you, your mind immediately goes to, was anyone hurt? Was anyone killed? And luckily, depending on how you look at it, 29 injuries, but no fatalities. And when you see the damage, I think uh, we were fortunate that there were no fatalities. And when you see the site itself, it just confirms that. Uh, the, uh, this was a significant amount of damage. Uh, the property damage on both sides, but the force of the explosion, you can see it down the block, it was across the street, there's glass everywhere, shrapnel everywhere, uh, so that we didn't lose anyone, uh, we were fortunate. And then the, the second response is, we're not going to let them win. We're not going to let them win. What do they want? They want to instill terror. That's what they want. They want to make you afraid. They want to make you worry about going into New York City or New York State. They want to make you worry about going across a bridge or a subway. We're not going to let them instill fear because then they would win. So we have the best response team on the globe. 
is here, it's working. The best protection team on the globe, on the side of caution, will be adding close to an additional thousand National Guard and state police, just to make sure people know that we're on the scene and we're on the job. And we're going, life will go on in New York just the way it did the moment before the bomb exploded. We're not going to let them win. Not that I know. Of. That is my advice. Uh, that is my knowledge uh, and what I've been informed. But obviously, that bomb detonated, so there's only pieces of it. And I would wait uh, for the FBI to do a full analysis before I come to any conclusion. The, my information, again, at this preliminary stage, is the devices were different. Uh, they were basically pipe bombs that were used in New Jersey. Different bombs were used here. But the FBI will do the analysis. I spoke to Governor Christie this morning, uh, and we'll have our teams working together to see if there's anything they can learn one from the other. All right, guys. Can you talk about the first to find the suspect or suspect? Say that again, sir. They're reviewing all the uh, all the videotape from the area now to see if they can identify a person. Obviously, all agencies are coordinated uh, in this investigation uh, and in this manhunt. As I said, uh, we will find whoever did this or whatever group did this, and they will be brought to justice. Period. Uh, and we're going to dedicate all necessary resources to do that. And you're dealing with the best police agencies on the globe in doing that. In, as far as opening the 23rd Street uh, Station tomorrow morning, as we mentioned before, it is structurally safe. It is structurally fine. Uh, some of the entrances are in the uh, crime scene right now. So we'll have to see how the investigation proceeds throughout the day. And if the FBI reduces the crime scene, and releases those entrances. Uh, but we'll make that information on the uh, Transit Authority website, uh, exactly what entrances and exits will be open as we get information through the day. Do you expect the station itself to be open? Yes. What, what is going on with them? Where are they? How close are the injuries? Um, I have only the information uh, that you have. Most were treated and released. There may be several who have not yet been released. Uh, several were, uh, were serious uh, injuries, but no fatalities. But I have no new information on that. The injuries were mostly from fine metal, or what was it that injured them? From, from people who were in that area when the bomb exploded and got hit with glass or uh, debris, et cetera. OK? Governor, have you heard any connection made to the Central Park IED that uh, injured a man? No. Um, well, we wanted to give you an update on what the state was doing and the MTA and the subway stations, etc. I spoke to the mayor this morning, uh, and he'll give you an update on what the city is doing, and that's the way we uh, normally handle these situations. Just so you don't think I am very responsive to your question, all 29 victims are confirmed released from the hospital. So that is really good news. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.